All right, so we uh, taking a little day trip. Uh, Esme is learning about the Civil War I, in our school. I did. It was last, last. I did last week. Yep, last yeah. week. So we are at the train station. Um, we went. We ran to Gettysburg real quick. So we're at the train station, and uh, we're gonna do a quick walk around it to show you guys where Abraham Lincoln rode to Gettysburg on the General, and to give his Gettysburg address. So. It's right behind us here. We'll take a better look. <laughs> All right, so you can see the picture. This is in it with a picture from 18, circa 1888, uh, 1863 area. So you can see the picture of it. And if I go back here, you'll actually see they did a pretty darn good job of just keeping it the same. Keeping it the same, they even have I'll get another shot of it, but they even have the uh, steeple on the top. It is now the train museum, the visitor center, but it is closed due to all the uh, pandemic stuff going around. But um, so it's obviously along the railroad tracks. Is this, I asked, is this train, is this train track still useful? And I think, yeah, it's still an active track. You can see. Probably is one of them. So, so yeah, it's still, uh, still standing. Yeah, they just yeah. Ref refurbished it, but yeah. it's still the original building. Of course, had to add their safety, all the safety <laughs> stuff with handrails and whatnot now. Well, so you can opens, see we should do a video handicap accessible of now. Going inside and doing everything, like looking at Yeah. Oh yeah, turn around. See if the sun doesn't glare it. There's the steeple still there, and you can see the marker for the stop and go. There's mommy. But get a really cool. Let's see if I can get this. Walk her along the thing. There we go. Like so. But this is where Abraham Lincoln came in to give the Gettysburg Address. And the square is in with walking distance, the Majestic, which is the. Uh, Movie theater, the old movie theater is there. They still are active. And then we got the, the Gettysburg Square. So now we are going to head over to where the Gettysburg Address was given. All right, so we were at the Gettysburg, the cemetery, which is where he gave his address. So we have the dogs with us. There's tons of hiking around. In the Gettysburg has just got tons of trails, so. We have the dogs with us, but the cemetery is not, you're not, you're not allowed to have the dogs in the cemetery. So, we have, what? So we have ourselves a little dilemma, but Mama's going to hold all the dogs while I take the girls in 
to show them. This is where I wanted to be. This is where I wanted to be. Show them the where he gave his address. So stay tuned. Here's the cemetery map. We're here right now. Uh, Abraham Lincoln was on this platform here, so we're gonna go walk. We're gonna walk down to it to show you where he delivered the Gettysburg Address. For Ohio residents that uh, follow us, there's one for the first Ohio Light Artillery. Third Volunteer Brigade, July 2nd and 3rd, 1863, West Virginia, Drums said, Rule has beat the soldier's last tattoo. And more on life's parade shall meet that brave and fallen few. These are all the fallen soldiers. But they don't know who it was. Who they were. So they have numbers on them. Yeah, this one died. Nope, that's. Just the soldier, 19, yeah. 26, 27, 28, 29. These are all the soldiers they couldn't identify. So this, Esme, this is where he gave the Gettysburg Address. There would have been a, this monument wasn't there. Uh, this is where Abraham Lincoln stood. Respects for all those who helped you know, the soldiers, you got the workers, see all the gears and the trains and everything. You got those who entertained, music, food. Given back Commonwealth of Kentucky. Kentucky honors her son Abraham Lincoln, who delivered his memorial address 
at the site known marked by the soldiers monument and it is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and the government of the people by the people for the people shall not perish from the earth Abraham Lincoln November 19th 1863 strong words more of unknown and then they just all these around this whole monument are those that were they were the past and were not taken home to their families for many different reasons. So who can we do All right, today? so we were out for like what, 20 minutes, and we have tons of ticks all over us. We have more ticks, more ticks than going to a Tourette syndrome camp. <laughs> <laughs> but um so yeah we cut that short uh so we don't die of Lyme's disease it's Lyme 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 disease so you'll find throughout Gettysburg trees like this they're called witness trees they actually witnessed the Civil War they're that old can see it's a huge tree and they're all throughout all right so we're gonna pull in off the square here oh it's one of those Mexican thingies or whatever um, this part of the square you can see as a statue of Abraham Lincoln talking with a local. All right, so this statue has been here for a long while, uh, 1991, they and they're on here. showing Gettysburg Strong. They put gloves. Put gloves on. Yep. We got the masks. gloves, masks, doctors, gear, and he has the modern, the modern statue has the Gettysburg address in his hands and he put medical shoes down below four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation, or any nation so conceived and so dedicated, can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But, in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us 
that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Hey guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and then once you do that, turn on the bell so that you get notifications on when we post more videos.